cheerio. I, I can't really do a British accent. I wish I could. Oi, was, mate. Oi, there, oi. There you go. Oi. Kyle, do this entire breakdown in Cockney English, and we will be good to go. I can just do oi. That's all I got. Oi. Got oi. Oi, ah. mate. I can't do, I mean, I can try and do like the guy from Ted Lasso, but that's, that's not great. Well, um, the good news is you won't have to do much else because we are talking about the Jets versus the Falcons after all. So analysis might necessarily be at a minimum. We purposely chose this game. It's a little bit of a niche game. Obviously playing in London is the only thing that's redeemable about these two teams going against each other. They're battling for draft picks right now. The Jets coming off their first win of the season beating the Tennessee Titans the Falcons coming off stop me if you heard this one before but a come from behind victory by the Washington football team Taylor Heineke coming through in the clutch four point favorites are the Falcons in this home game for them you know the one thing that kind of makes me it stands out to me in this game is the Jets are a very young roster now, the Falcons are young in certain respects, too, but both these franchises have played a London game before. The Jets most recently in 2015. The Falcons did it in 2014. I at least know that Matt Ryan has done this travel before, that he's at least familiar with this type of travel situation, whereas a guy like Zach Wilson and a lot of the players, two first-year head coaches between Arthur Smith and Robert Sala as well, aren't probably as used to this type of game. I'm going to lean with veteran experience. I'm going to say my pick out the gate here is going to be the Falcons to beat the Jets. They've been close. They've been playing a little bit better. You like the offensive pieces for the Falcons a little bit more at this time. The Jets offensive line had a little bit of a bang up situation. Did get Jameson Crowder back and that was huge for them. But those are really the only things that really stand out to me. Another fun fact here, Jeff Albrecht, the Atlanta defensive coordinator in 2020 is now the defensive coordinator for the Jets. So in theory, the Jets might have a potential advantage there. So this game is interesting because the Falcons have been a team that hasn't been the traditional Falcons because now they're rebuilding. But I came in on Sunday and boy, it felt good to have the Falcons chaos game again. Like the Falcons had, had played some weird games to start the year, but none of them felt like a traditional Falcons chaos game where both teams are scoring in the 30s no defense is being played we're throwing up Hail Marys and people are catching them in the end zone and JD McKissick is scoring a touchdown when he should have gone to the ground because they could have just ran the clock down and kicked a game-winning field goal and then they let Matt Ryan have a chance to win and there were Hail Marys all over the place ah the Falcons chaos game it felt good to have one of those again on the 10 o'clock window on Sunday you mentioned this is the London game which means I get to wake up at 6 30 and watch this terrible football game um which i absolutely will pour a bowl of cereal and get to it i've missed the london games they went away because of covid last year and i i'm missing the waking up and Jameis winston has already thrown two interceptions for the buccaneers i i've missed that feeling again on london games uh i too have the atlanta falcons to win and uh the reason for that is just that i think the atlanta offense is going to put up enough points the Jets defense isn't great so they'll put up enough points they haven't been very good this year and Cordero Patterson has kind of erased Kyle Pitts from the offense but he's still there right maybe this is the bad team they finally play that allows Kyle Pitts to break out on offense this year Calvin Ridley had a great week one and kind of has been Calvin Ridley ever since where he's kind of like wide receiver 17 in fantasy Um, not even that this year (laughs) actually breaking down the numbers with Drew Calvin Ridley's numbers are pretty ugly dude I think he's in the wide receiver 30s Oh 40s. man. Oof. If you That's actually rough, look, take a look the first at it, game was awesome too. It's pretty bad. Check out the Buster Fantasy yeah. Football Podcast. Free plug that. <laughs> yeah. Check that out. You're great at plugging stuff. So That's what she said. <laughs> the first drive of the season, Calvin Ridley had like what is it? I think like 70 yards and a touchdown. And then after that, it's been not much else after that. I was looking at this earlier. I think the Falcons are 32nd in DVOA on offense and their defense is not great either, but I still do like the Falcons because the Jets don't really have talent on their team. It was a good win for them against the Titans though. I will give them that like Zach Wilson finally didn't play all time atrocious type of bad. And I think Zach Wilson's probably going to finally have an average game this week. He's had like 
one game in the 60s in QBR, two in the 30s and 40s, which is like worst quarterback of the weekend type of stats. And then he was about 100 in the last game against the Titans. So I think this might be the week Zach Wilson kind of has a, an average week. Maybe he has an interception or two, but I will also be taking the Atlanta Falcons to win this game between two of the five worst teams in the NFL. You know, it's actually funny because the Jets have lost in time of possession, lost in yards last week against the Titans, but the explosive plays were a big storyline there. So if the Falcons could just keep those explosive plays from going off, I think they'll be fine. What is the worst thing that we've done in London? Is it the Revolutionary War? Is it the Jets versus Falcons? Or is it my British accent? That's the real question. Uh, I mean, the Revolutionary War was technically here, but I will say... I'll say Jets Falcons okay. or that one time we sent Jameis Winston there. One of the two. Woo, woo, not the worst. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 